Well, stars and hip hop is going crazy over Kanye West leaning all the way to the right, embracing Trump um, just in order to market his album and sell more albums to get people talking about him. Let's go through this right now. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to run ads on the channel, JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Well, everybody's reacting, especially close friends to Kanye. Some of them came up with excuses like Sahi the Prince. But, you know, John Legend and them, they they, they kind of went in on their friend, and as they should, you know, because they kind of they know what's up. They know Kanye. You know, it, John Legend was saying, I imagine there's some... Comfort in imagining a future without racism and projecting that onto the present, thinking if we just deny the truth, it doesn't exist. If history was erased, we wouldn't have to deal with consequences. However, now where did it go? Um, far too many people don't have the luxury of closing their eyes and ears. They feel it in their lives and can't act like they don't see and know it doesn't exist. Uh, and he says... Uh, they know their family was destroyed by deportation or incarceration. They know their loved one was denied safe harbor because of their religion. They know their son or daughter was shot because of their, their skin color evoked fear. Okay, that's he's making some good points. Okay, um, Rosenberg said, Kanye is the worst. I am done. Uh, let's see, Lupe Fiasco. Nah. Don't run to me now. You all got to figure that out. I like K-Dot or Cole. I'm on my journey of personal transcendence and playing video games. Probably playing Fortnite, right? Uh, then what J. Cole said, "There, uh, these are our heroes at Nas. Uncle Murder said, uh, even though Kanye bugging the fuck out, I still rock with the Yeezys. Okay, if you guys, that's another point. Everyone that's complaining, I better see nobody with any Yeezys on. Honestly, I've only seen like four people with Yeezys on in my life, and I live in the city. So that says something. So I know Kanye was saying he's made more money than uh, Michael Jordan. I don't think so, bro. I know that Yeezys do limited pressings. So do Jordans, but Yeezys do really limited pressings. So don't be, when they're sold out, they could have, I could press three shoes right now, sell them and say, whoa, we sold out in one day, bro. Of course, I only have three pairs. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, old man Ebro said, I wonder if Kanye West has caught up with Chance the Rapper, G Herbo, a little Dirk on his hometown in Chicago. That's a good point, Ebro. He said, have you talked to Common yet? Um, ja Rule said, I'm one of the most influential rappers of all time. Okay. Uh, Ice T said, This dude, what the fuck? Then uh, Static Selector said, We're in a Twilight Zone. The shit I'm reading on my phone every day gets more bugged. Uh, Crooked Eye says, Trump said laziness is a trait of all blacks. And he said, He said this. I don't know. And then what else? Uh, Styles P said, uh, some shit you just got to stay away from and ignore. Chuck D said, advice to Kanye West. If you're going to be on social media, follow more than one person and at least read into their everyday lives, even if they aren't going to be on a bus again. Okay. Anyways, people are shocked. Uh, 10 million followers lost in one day. Uh, Kanye West, hope he's getting what he wanted. I mean, this is weird. <laughs> I'm kind of over it. Kanye West has duped us into buying his albums and products for 10 years, trolling us. I'm done. He's a, he's a musical genius, though. you got to give him that. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to add to the channel, it's jordantowermedia.gmail.com.